A woman goes into labor and gives birth to 10 babies. But when the doctors discover that one of them is not a human child, everyone is terrified of what was inside the woman's belly. On that sunny day, the sky reflected the happiness of a so-awaited ultrasound. A woman, Clara, and her husband, Robert, were anxiously awaiting the first glimpse of their baby. She, with a surprisingly large belly for an early stage of her pregnancy, shared a worried look with her husband. Expectation and anxiety permeated the air, mixed with the excitement of seeing their future child. They didn't even know if it was a boy or a girl, but they already loved their child with all their hearts. However, in recent months, the rapid expansion of the woman's belly left them a little uneasy. Mendel, the doctor responsible for Clara, entered the room with a warm smile, explaining the procedures for the ultrasound scan. Let's take a look at your little one, or by the size of your belly must be a big one, right? He said, as he prepared the gel and the transducer. Clara reclined on the stretcher, and Robert held her hand tightly, both with their eyes fixed on the screen. The doctor began the examination, moving the transducer gently over the patient's belly. At first, his expression was one of pure joy, but as the examination went on, the doctor began to frown, clearly confused and surprised by what he was seeing. What is it, doctor? Is our baby okay? Asked the mother with concern evident in her voice. Dr. Mendel whispered quietly, almost to himself. My God! Impossible! Unbelievable! The husband squeezed his wife's hand, both of them becoming increasingly apprehensive. Doctor, what's wrong? He asked, his voice tense. Without answering immediately, the doctor asked them to wait a moment and quickly left the room. He returned accompanied by other doctors and nurses. As the medical team crowded around the ultrasound screen, expressions of shock and disbelief took over their faces. Oh my God, it's unbelievable, muttered a nurse. Clara, unable to bear the tension any longer, sat on the stretcher and shouted, Doctor, for God's sake, what's happening? The man turned to the couple with a cautious smile on his face and revealed, You're pregnant with 10 babies, Clara. I counted 10 babies. The parents went pale for a moment and were completely silent. It was as if a bomb had fallen on them. What, 10 babies? Are you kidding? Robert almost fainted while the nurses and medical staff nodded in agreement. Clara began to cry, her tears mixed with shock and overwhelming uncertainty. They left the office and went home, each step heavy with the magnitude of the news. Their minds had not yet fully processed the information. Ten lives growing inside her. A family instantly enlarged in unimaginable ways. The journey that was beginning was beyond anything the simple couple had dreamed or feared. And so, the two of them entered the house, their eyes watering and their minds swirling with the unexpected future that awaited them. Oh my God, love. 10 babies. The woman was still paralyzed. The news of 10 babies marked the beginning of an extraordinary and challenging adventure that would change their lives forever. In the weeks that followed the surprising news of the ultrasound, Clara and Robert struggled to come to terms with the reality that they would soon be the parents of 10 children. Sitting in the living room of their modest home, they both looked at each other with a mixture of fear and wonder. My God, love. 10 children, how are we going to raise them all? Clara said again, with the magnitude of the responsibility weighing heavily on her shoulders. Robert, always the optimist and very religious, held her hands and replied, We'll manage, love. If God put these babies in our path, it's because we can raise them. The Lord trusts us. With renewed faith and determination, the couple began preparing for the arrival of their little ones. They transformed the spare room into a large nursery, equipping it with several cribs. Yeah, we can fit three cribs in here. Two cribs for three babies each, and one crib for four babies. There's no space for ten cribs here, the husband joked, trying to keep his spirits up in the face of the logistical challenge. The news that Clara was expecting ten babies quickly spread through the local community. Despite being a humble family in a simple village, the community mobilized in an extraordinary way. Neighbors, friends, and even strangers began to donate clothes, diapers, and everything that could be useful for the future newborns. The wave of solidarity was touching, and every gesture of kindness filled the couple's hearts with gratitude and hope. It's incredible what they are doing. We wouldn't be able to buy all these things on our own. Clara commented happily on the blessing they were receiving. I told you, love, said the husband. 
God will always help us in every step of the way. The days went by and Clara's belly continued to grow at an impressive rate. Being pregnant with multiple babies was physically demanding, and she increasingly felt the weight and fatigue of carrying ten lives inside her. Her body was transforming in ways she would never have imagined, and each movement was becoming more challenging. However, as the months went by, the pregnant woman began to feel worrying pains. At first, she tried to attribute the pain to the size of her belly and the number of babies, but the pain only increased becoming more and more intense and frequent. Robert watched with growing concern. The fear that something was wrong never left his mind. Determined not to take any chances, the couple made an emergency appointment for another ultrasound. They needed to make sure the babies were safe and healthy. As they drove to the hospital, an anxious silence hung between them. They both feared what the ultrasound would reveal this time but they were aware that they needed to be prepared for any eventuality. After all, a pregnancy of 10 children is not common, and they knew that the more common pregnancies of two or three babies were already a risk. Would all the children be okay? It was a journey of mixed emotions, full of hope and fear, as they waited anxiously to see the state of the little hearts beating inside Clara. On that fateful day, the couple were exceptionally worried. The movements of the babies inside the woman's belly were unusual and intense, leaving her with the feeling that something was very wrong. At seven months pregnant, she felt as if her belly was about to explode at any moment. When they arrived at the clinic for the ultrasound, the pregnant woman expressed her anxiety to Dr. Mendel. Is there something wrong with our babies, doctor? I need to know. They move all the time. It's not normal, she said, her voice shaking with worry. The doctor, who had been with them since the beginning of her pregnancy, tried to reassure them as he prepared the equipment for another test. However, the task was challenging. With ten babies crammed into Clara's womb and the ultrasound equipment not being the most advanced due to the lack of resources in the village, it was difficult to discern what was going on. As the examination unfolded, the doctor's expression became increasingly serious. He moved the transducer cautiously, trying to understand the source of the woman's pain and the strange behavior of the babies. Robert held Clara's hand tightly, both fixated on the man's worried expression. Suddenly, Dr. Mendel muttered something to himself, clearly shaken. My God, one of them. Could it be? And scratched his forehead in disbelief. One of them isn't a baby. These words echoed in the room, leaving the couple horrified. What? What do you mean? The two asked in a voice full of panic and confusion. The doctor, sensing the need for more opinions, asked to be excused and quickly left to call in other doctors. A few moments later, with the room full of specialists, one of them confirmed his disturbing observation. Yeah, one of them really isn't a baby, he said, equally perplexed. But what is it then? The mother shouted. But at that moment, Clara cried out in pain. The doctors and Robert turned their attention to her realizing that the intensity of her suffering was related to what was strange about the ultrasound. Pain and fear, along with confusion and a lack of answers, triggered the start of the woman's labor. She's going to give birth now, quick! The doctor shouted. The medical team acted quickly, preparing her for premature birth. Her husband, by her side, held her hand, trying to offer some comfort in the midst of the chaos. The situation was beyond anything they could have imagined or been ready for. And now, with the birth of the babies approaching, they faced not only the anticipated arrival of the children, but also the agonizing uncertainty about the tenth baby, who, according to the doctors, wasn't a baby at all. Fear, hope, and love intertwined as they awaited the outcome of that extraordinary and frightening day. Clara was put on a stretcher and rushed to the operating room. Along the way, Robert held his wife's hand, trying to give her some comfort in the midst of the chaotic situation. Calm down, love. You'll be fine. He whispered, trying to hide his own fear. In the operating room, the tension was blatant. Doctors and nurses were moving quickly, preparing Clara for an emergency cesarean section. The sudden increase in pain and the concern for the baby's health demanded immediate and precise action. My babies, will they... Will they survive? The woman asked, looking at the doctors, tears streaming down her face as the doctors placed her on the operating table. Robert was told to wait outside the operating room. He sat outside, his heart pounding in his chest, his hands shaking in silent prayer. 
begging for the safety of his wife and children. Every second that passed felt like an eternity of anguish and waiting. Oh my God, please let everything go well, he begged in his thoughts. Inside the room, the doctors were working urgently. And then the birth of the children began. One by one, the babies began to be taken out of their mother's belly. The cries of the newborns filled the room, a sound that brought both relief and apprehension. Clara, even under the effects of anesthesia, shed tears as she heard each of her children cry for the first time. After being sterilized, Robert was finally allowed to enter the room. He approached his wife, holding her hand and stroking her hair so that she could be calmer, but he also had his eyes watering with emotion at the sight of his children. They're beautiful, love. Our little warriors, he said, smiling through his tears. The babies were carefully cleaned and placed in incubators, given their prematurity. Each little face was a mixture of Clara's and Robert's features, a new life that began with the help of artificial respiration. However, Tension still hung in the air as the doctors continued to work. Nine of the ten babies had been successfully delivered, but uncertainty remained about the tenth. When the time finally came to remove the last baby, an expression of surprise and confusion came over the doctor's face. What is that? The doctor muttered, looking inside the woman who was still lying on the stretcher. Clara and Robert looked at each other apprehensively, not understanding what was happening. The fear and anxiety they had felt throughout their pregnancy seemed to be concentrated in that single moment. They knew that something was different, something unexpected was happening, and that made them deeply worried. What is it, doctor? Clara asked, still a little dizzy from the anesthesia. The doctors continued to examine the situation while Clara and Robert waited for any news. What should have been a moment of joy was now tinged with the shadow of the unknown as they waited for answers about the tenth baby and what it meant for their newly enlarged family. The atmosphere in the operating room was full of tension and expectation. When Robert saw the medical team with an urgent look on their faces, he couldn't contain himself any longer and decided to look across the surgical barrier. What he saw left him pale and speechless. What's wrong, love? His wife asked, her voice weak and worried. I don't know how to explain it, darling. The husband murmured, with a shocked expression as he looked at what was inside his wife. The doctors, sensing the couple's concern, finally clarified the situation. Mendel approached with a serious and understanding look. Clara, Robert, what we found wasn't exactly a baby. It appears to be a myoma, a mass that the body sometimes forms. That would explain the pain you were feeling, Clara, and why your body went into labor early. Your body was trying to protect the other healthy babies, trying to get them out sooner, the doctor explained. At the revelation, the couple looked at each other with a mixture of relief and sadness in their eyes. We're going to start the process to remove this myoma, okay? You can rest assured that everything will be fine, he concluded. As the mass was carefully removed, the couple felt the weight of the situation. Although relieved that it wasn't a tenth baby in danger, the presence of the myoma represented a different kind of loss a reminder of the difficulties they had faced, and also a strange loss, as they had always thought there were ten babies. It seemed strange that one of their children never existed. After the removal of the myoma, the doctor approached me and said, I'm sorry for all the fright and tension. Now let's concentrate on your recovery and caring for your nine children. Clara and Robert cried together, not only because of the situation they had faced, but also because of the emotion of hearing their nine babies cry, signaling that they were alive and now needed all the attention and care they could get. The sound of their cries filled the room, warming their hearts and renewing their hope. The next two months would be incredibly challenging. The babies, premature and fragile, needed intensive care, the parents committed themselves to doing everything necessary, spending days and nights in hospital, learning about the care of premature babies, and praying constantly for the health and strength of each little being fighting for life. As time went by, the couple's determination only grew. They knew the journey would be long and full of difficulties and challenges, but they were ready to face it all, together, with faith, love, and the hope of a healthy future for their nine children. So. After months of intensive care and many prayers, the big day finally arrived. 
the couple's nine babies were ready to be discharged from hospital. Clara and Robert, accompanied by medical and nursing staff, carried their precious children, five girls and four boys, out of the hospital to the applause and tears of joy of the staff and other parents who had followed their journey. The entire hospital community joined in a celebration for the new life of these little fighters. When they got home, the couple prepared the special nursery they had set up since they found out about their little ones with three cribs ready to welcome the babies. They put three in each cradle, carefully arranging them. The room was filled with love, hope, and the sweet melody of the newborn's mumbles and sighs. It's perfect, three each, as we said before, the new father joked. Even so, there was a hint of melancholy in the couple's hearts, a silent reminder of the myoma that for a brief moment they imagined was a tenth baby. It was a sense of loss mixed with gratitude, gratitude for the health of their nine children and for the medical intervention that had ensured their safety. The story of the woman who gave birth to nine children quickly spread throughout the region, attracting the attention and support of the community. Neighbors, friends, and even strangers continued to help the couple with food, clothes, and everything the babies might need for several months. The generosity and warmth shown was a reflection of the admiration and delight that the story of the nine little ones had aroused. As time went by, the babies grew up, each with their own personality and charm. They became known in the region as the non uplets a little show of joy and life that filled Clara and Robert's house with laughter, crying, and lots of activity. The parents, although exhausted, felt blessed and deeply grateful for every day with their children. They both looked at their children playing and interacting and couldn't help but marvel at how far they had come. The sleepless nights, worries, and fears had turned into a routine full of care, learning, and above all, a lot of love. They certainly became an inspiration that constantly reminded us that, even in the most challenging circumstances, hope should never be lost. With the help of the community, faith, and unwavering love, the couple were creating little miracles. And now, as the babies grew up healthy and happy, Clara and Robert knew that every sacrifice was worth it. They had managed to give their children the most valuable gift of all, life. And in return, these nine little ones had filled their lives with incomparable purpose and joy. And if you like this story, I'm sure the next video that pops up on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you in the next heartwarming story.